Jesus. Walter? Walter. I... I... What? What? This changes everything. What changes everything? Let's see. Loading facade. This may take up to 60 seconds. I'm timing you. Don't dick me around here. <clears throat> uh, hey, it's Trip. It's, uh, wow. <laughs> it's, it's been a while since, since we all, uh, um, but, uh, Grace and I thought it'd be, uh, great if you came over tonight. Uh, really, it'd, it'd be great. Uh, so yeah, just, uh, come on over around eight. It'll be fun. <laughs> so, um, see you then, I guess. Great. Okay. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the pseudo-realistic world of Facade. Or Facade? Is that how you say it? That's, that's how you say it. Facade. There's no other way to pronounce Facade but Facade. Um, the word is losing all meaning the more I say the word. So this is a uh, dinner party conversation simulator developed by a two-person team where basically the whole premise is you're invited over to dinner um, and uh, you're going to have dinner with two friends, a guy and a girl who are uh, in a relationship together who are passively, aggressively fighting slash their marriage is falling apart. There's actually a free game you can get over at interactivestory.net and... Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop in here. This is basically like those old adventure games where all you could... Oh, uh, type the first letter and scroll with the arrows. Oh, I wanted to be J, but as soon as you type in J, it becomes Jane. Okay, let's see what our options are. Q is Rachel. That makes no sense. W is Walter. E is Ed. R is Rachel. T is Tammy. E... Y is Will. Whoa, these, these are all over the place. Pat. A female Pat. Uh, Sam, a female Sam, George, Heather, Kate, Lisa, Will, we're just bouncing around here, Mark. Mark sounds like a fair name. Um, let's be Walter, though. I feel like Walter is the way to go. Let's go ahead and click on instructions here. I uh, will press enter and see what happens. Now, I've never played this game before. We're playing it blind. And as I said, this is going to be like those old-time Sierra adventure games. You basically play by typing. And so I'm going to have to shut up a lot during this game so we can actually hear what's happening. So uh, I'm going to start doing that right now. Oh, of course when I shut up, they shut up. Don't give me that look. You're going to drive me crazy. Guys, they're fighting. I think. Walter! Hey! I thought I heard someone out here. God, it's been so long since we've seen you. You heard me standing here on, quietly. Uh, I'm doing well. How are you, dude? Let's see if he understands that sentence. Oh, we're great. Just great. Ah, he kind of did. Oh, come on in. All right. Do I have to uh, click? It'll be just a sec while I go get Grace. Grace, please. I can hear them still arguing. It's like that awkward moment where your parents are fighting and you don't know what to do. We're just going to stay in the hallway and talk about the game, guys. So admittedly, this game does not have perfect um, detection of what it is you type in. But it's remarkable, I think, to play a game where you can type in responses and the game will dynamically respond. So this is sort of a branching storyline. We're going to get to go Walter. in here and do some damage to their Hi, relationship. How are you? God, it's been a while. Oh, hello. Yeah, how, how are you doing? I'm just, standing, just him that. standing in the hallway. Well, I can Oh, I can actually too. come in by pressing the up arrow. Oh, sorry. Okay, I will come in. Hello. How are you guys doing? It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. How oh. are you? And I've um, got to say, you look really good. Make thanks. yourself at home. Come on in. You look good too, baby. Oh, close the door. Will that offend her, I wonder? Oh, well, um... <clears throat> oh, it, it kind of got awkward. Things kind of <laughs> got awkward. Walter, okay. seeing you brings back good memories. Don't hit on no? your friend's yes. wife right in front of your friend. Pro tip. Uh, man, this is remarkable hey, for a free I game. Just I, I, I just must say. Oh, tonight's a special night. A celebration. Look at your wedding it is. photo. 
What are you guys celebrating? Oh, you know, our wedding picture is the first thing everyone... Whoa, he understood that. So, yeah. Remember how you introduced us almost exactly 10 years ago tonight? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, look at the look on their face. Well, uh, all I can say is um, tonight means a lot to me and, uh, and Grace. All right. Uh, it means a lot to me yeah, too, bro. I can... I'm, I'm playing oh, the role of like a well, real bro dude here. I want to ask you. Go ahead and ask. You know, when I look at this wedding picture hanging here in this room, uh -huh. yeah, everyone notices it when they come in. It obviously just does not go anymore. I mean, with my new decorating and all. Oh, Grace. It goes. It goes. Well, it's impressive. Don't be so critical. Even after a full day's work designing Baby. magazine ads, Grace somehow finds the time to decorate. So, uh, if you were to listen to I their banter here, the you would hear a lot of passive, aggressive jabs sure at each other. This and try to start over um, on this room. Now, what should our goal be here? So, there's a lot of different things you can do. The, the things that you say to these people will dictate how the evening goes. Um, See, Grace... So complaining about we, so I guess There's the ultimate goal wrong. you're supposed to have so is to try it. to, um, working, okay? try, try to help them to like reconcile and get back together. We're hiding in the kitchen right now. We're hiding in the kitchen right here. Let's see if Walter? they notice. Are you, are you leaving the room? <laughs> wow. They, they noticed. Uh oh, what happened? I, I zoomed into the hallway. Oh yes. Okay. Um, let's get drunk. Do you think they'll go for this? Maybe. I feel like if we all have a drink, we'll all chill out. Let's have Walter, a drink. Let me get you a drink. Yes. Oh, he understood. I just fully loaded the bar with the real quality I'm, stuff. I'm like poking him in the eye. My guests. I, I, I'm like? being the worst house guest How about ever. A martini? I served them at our last party. They were a smash. Poker right in the mouth. Whoa, did I go in for a kiss? <coughs> Whoa, uh, awkward. Wow, so, uh, so... I, I didn't mean to do that right in front of you, dude. Whoa. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's laugh this off. <laughs> Where's that drink? <laughs> maniac, oh, you sex maniac. Oh, yeah, I'm just a, just a sex maniac. Bit of a bit of an <laughs> addiction I've crazy. got. Uh, nymphomania. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that got awkward real quick, guys. Don't invite me over for a house anyway, party. I yeah. will try to make out with your wife about? and or spousal uh, well, partner. You know what? I'm just going to make you a martini. No, Go ahead. No. Go ahead. Walter, maybe you'd like just a simple glass of white wine. Uh, I want wine. I'm going to I'm going to go with her. So here's my here's my goal. Oh yeah, you know. Um, I, I don't real drink I, I, I don't want them to get back together. I want them this to break up We're and I want her to feel like she can do better. Grace, I think that's on, my goal. It's not helping things for you to say that. Trip, it's okay if we disagree. Disagree? In front of our We're not disagreeing. We're, we're not. Maybe I should go in for another kiss. Maybe I should go in for a kiss with this guy. Let's just see what happens. Whoa! Oh, driving me insane. Whoa. Goddamn decorating. You're never Wait. satisfied with anything. You're what happened? Happy. I went never in for a kiss and it ended up with anything. oh, it's getting in, it's getting intense, guys. It's getting intense. Walter, can yes. you believe this? I can't believe it. Yeah. You. What? What's that? What are you saying? What? You can do better. Kissing. You like it when other people reach out to you. In with that. Yeah. Okay. Goddamn manipulation. Grace, oh man, I, this is getting I awkward, guys. Have you guys happy. ever been in a situation like this that? where like two friends are literally getting in a brutal fight in front of you? Actually, I think I okay. I legitimately you know have. One year Walter, in uh, at New Year's, Trip, way back when, please. when I worked at Blockbuster yeah, Video, uh, when I was in college, uh, all all those Blockbuster employees went to a party yes no. um, for New Year's. Can you oh try to shoot! Change Hold the on, they're asking me something. Better than you yourself are. Can you ask once you get married? Is it okay to, to change? To... No, what? it's not okay to ask them to change. Um, but anyway, I was at a New Year's oh, party, and right. a couple that was there yes. that I worked with got in a huge fight right Don't in front of everyone, see, Trip, and they literally fought in the living room Trip, for, until like two in the morning. Fake, all pretend. Oh, it's a sham marriage. Yeah. Oh, well, we're gonna come in here and comfort her. Okay, don't worry. Take this, guys. This is our chance. Okay, time time to be time to be the douchebag bro that we are. We're gonna go in for it. We're gonna go in for it. You look nice. Is she buying what? it? What? What are you saying to me? I, I'm not. Trip, are you trying to no. Talk to me? I'm not saying it to to you. Walter, saying it to her. Uh, no, don't don't do that. What? Are you talking? What's to it me? to you? <laughs> okay, this is weird. 
I, they feel like okay. Maybe I'm supposed to be out here talking to this guy before. about helping your spouse. I think we've already learned something about trip. Oh, we're talking about me. Are Man, we? this is just That's a brutal argument. Trip. Maybe you we can just rob these people. All this stuff. Having all this money. I'm just gonna. I'm so happy. I'm gonna take. We're yeah, you, so you guys clearly have so much money. Trip. Look, look at this. What do you want? Look at this no, elaborate, we're too well off? elaborate apartment that you've got. One couch, isn't no this, TV, and a bar. I'm getting out of here. Getting out. Uh, I want to leave. Walter. Hey, don't go. Come on. This is to getting this. too awkward. Jesus, Walter. This isn't my problem, places, guys. Stuff, you know? Walter. <sighs> Come on, guys. Look, I, I, I can I, I can read the temperature of the room. I know what we're all thinking. Look, why don't we talk Threesome. about us, our relationship? I know! I, 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 I know that's where you guys are going with this. Parents. And he look, he everything he can to I will do it for your sake. Afraid of my parents? My parents are idiots. Oh, no, they're arguing no, about their parents. They weren't true. even listening to me. Not even concerned that I'm sort of stealing their statue here. What's in here? Let's just go rummaging through their, their house if we can. How about... Hey, oh, you never served me that on. drink. I don't feel like fixing drinks at this moment. Well, guess what, buddy? I'm gonna, Let's keep the gonna focus on fix us. Just one my person. own. You know what makes me so angry? What? How about, a, how about this how crazy eight so ball? Conveniently forgotten how much you Never. Used to actually hate painting. Walter, Here, are these guys I, gonna get back together? I, Never. Ugh. Grace. Even Let's now you're try a, a different tact work. here. So far, we have been not Walter, very supportive, and we have been about trip stuff, please? kind of randomly rude to these guys. Look, guys, stop fighting. Let's tell them ah, that they love each other. Walter, that always solves everything. Angry? Trip, what makes me so angry is your attitude. What? You guys love Walter? each other. Aha! What? Are, are you trying to say I might not love Trip? No, 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 no. Oh, God. I, you do... Is that, is that what you... No, yes. you do love Trip. Oh, God, no. To suggest that I don't love Trip is... It's going too far! No, I'm suggesting you do love him. No, that's not what I'm suggesting. At all. Oh, I, it doesn't even take it. <laughs> that's that's no. not what I'm suggesting. Oh, God. Walter. If you take his side in this, I swear, I'll walk out the door. I'm not taking anyone's side. What are you talking about, woman? Do you not understand, understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Um, okay. Um, don't leave, baby. Um, how about it's Let's all about us, our gonna be Grace, we okay. Don't we don't have to do this. Things are okay. We can just, Dude, I shut can't your mouth. Anymore. I can't take it. Oh, he gave me a glare when I said that one. Okay. Look, I've been rude tonight. No. No. Grace, we can... I mean, come on. Don't make it out to be so bad. Oh, man. This, this, if this was a real party, okay. I think I would legit be out the I door. I can't do this anymore. Just stop. Guys, Walter, just get I know divorced. What you're trying to hint at about me. What? What about am I hinting art? at? What? What did you I say about art? The honest truth, huh? What? Okay. Walter, are okay. you ready for that? Yes, I'm ready. Let's let's just hear what Trip. she has to say. Trip? I'm trying to steer the ship. Yes. I'm just gonna become Walter, a passenger here. I've actually been paying close attention to what you've been saying tonight. Oh, have you? You've been doesn't seem like it. Me tonight. We're gonna have a seat here on the couch. And I wonder, and are, are enjoy you the really show. My friend? Grace, Walter, um, come on. I yes, am your friend. Do you really think that kissing me, flirting with Trip, telling me I'm angry, and worst of all, suggesting that I don't love Trip, but especially what you said about trying to make your spouse better, that it's all supposed to make me realize something about myself? Is it supposed to add up to something meaningful or what? Okay, Is I did do all those things. Give me a yes or a no. Except I didn't. I didn't say one of those things. I didn't do. I'm very sure I didn't do one of those. This is I'm just gonna go with yes. Race. Okay. Now what's gonna happen? Is she gonna punch me? I painted this. Painted what? Bullshit. I am an artist. Trip. Fuck it's a you. Bunch of squiggly lines. You've been secretly painting. Every when? time you go on a goddamn business trip, I oh paint. god, so ever give mom and dad are fighting, guys. Mom and dad are fighting. Crap. Can we can we call nine one one? This this is what I want to do. <sighs> call the police. Jesus, Walter. Walter I, I. 
What? What? This changes everything. What changes everything? What the yes, shoes painted? Yes, it does change everything. I can paint too. Just so you know, just just I just want to interject. Oh, she didn't like that. I think it's over. Oh man. Grace. No. Guys, are we it's still going over, to dinner? Trip. Don't you see that? Or should I just go get some Mickey D's? I just told you something about me I should have said a long time ago. Should I leave? I am is it, an artist, but you can't see that. Is it getting too awkward to have me here, or Grace, just awkward no. enough? I No, I, Trip. this is about me. I see now it's not about you or about our marriage. I feel like I'm just a passenger in like a, a drama play here. No, wait! Walter, I'm sorry, but thank you. You you really helped me. Oh. Huh. Grace! No problem. Wait, can I come too? Uh-oh. Uh, well... I helped my friend, in quotation marks there, by essentially dissolving his marriage. And... View your stage play. Okay, so th that's it! That's the entire gameplay of Facade. Very crazy game, right? I was actually hoping that the dialogue um, that I said would have a bigger impact on the story, but I feel like there were points at which I was... You know, the characters did react to some of the things I said, but not in as much detail as I would have hoped. And what I had read about this game is that this was a remarkable interactive story. And I was looking forward to it. And I will say that it is, it is an interesting game. I, I'm really happy the devs decided to release it for free because I do think that given the very short nature of it and the sort of, it feels more like an experimental game, I would say. Given the experimental nature, I don't think they really could have honestly charged very much for it. Um, but there's something crazy, like 20,000 lines of recorded dialogue. Um, let's go ahead, let's, let's hop, oh, your generated stage play? What? How do we, how do we actually, wait, when you click on replay, it tells you to quit the game and restart it. Um, yeah, okay, this game was originally released as like a web browser game. And so I guess it was not designed to be run as a program. I actually have it installed on my computer here, but uh, I guess they didn't design it super well. Um, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and relaunch the game here. And of course, when you go to launch facade, you're given this interesting loading screen that just tells you, hey, it may take up to a minute to load this game. Um, it, it seems like, okay, facade is a crazily interesting concept. I love the idea of interactive fiction. Um, but I don't think it was necessarily programmed super well. Um, although it is, it is like a, a like a decent for like a very low budget two person indie game. It does have like a decent three D modeling effect uh, of the characters, even though they're very cartoony, obviously. So I don't know. Maybe a minute load time is reasonable. Um, I will th say I think this game is a better concept than it is a game. Hey, um, and why do I say that? Well, because. It's Interactive a, wow. stories, I think, are a genre that have never really properly been developed. But, uh, Back in the days of Sierra and so Lucas yeah, Arts, uh, um, game okay. developers were trying to figure out how do you put a character in a story and let them make decisions that will affect uh, the gameplay. Great. And as great as Sierra and Lucas Arts games were, they were very linear. You were stuck on a track, right? So, like, think about like you know. The best interactive story I can think of is like Dungeons and Dragons. Anyone who's actually played Dungeons and Dragons, you sit down with a dungeon master and you play a game. And yes, the dungeon master has sort of a guide of what they want to happen on this story, but you can say and do anything and the dungeon master will decide what actually happens to you in the world. Now contrast that with what happened when they took RPGs and they made them into like computer or video game RPGs. They went from this sort of freeform storytelling narrative to a very linear quest model where you go from A to B to C to D and like some interesting choices sometimes occur but pretty much the end of the game is always the end of the game and you're always sort of funneled towards a certain conclusion. Um, true interactive storytelling would allow you to change the story. Let's be George this time by the way. Oh and uh... Wow, this game is buggy as hell. I think I went to click on subtitles and it opened up an infinite chain of tabs in my Chrome browser. Just like, it was like bloop, 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 bloop. It like kept opening forever. Um, yeah, okay. This game is not designed well. I can officially say very poor, very poorly programmed. 
Um, but again, it doesn't diminish the fact that I do like this concept. As I was saying, so, um, you know, RPGs and interactive stories, um, they're a type of game that has not properly been fleshed out in, in video games, I feel. Like, if you look at something like a real-time strategy or a first-person shooter platformer, it's like those have evolved over the years and gotten very complicated uh, and become very sophisticated. You look at, um, you know, an RPG, and, like, the basics of an RPG haven't changed that much since the beginning of roguelikes. Like, they've sort of been more or less the same. And I think that the, the limiting factor here is that it's hard to program a computer to be able to dynam dynamically tell a story. And so I personally think that until we hit a point of smarter AI we won't see the interactive story genre really move too far past this part past you know two guys spending you know a year or however long it took them to develop this game to make 20,000 lines of script to create this branching story with different outcomes but it still kind of feels like you're on rails if you could create an AI that could do, could dynamically change the story on the go based on what I was typing in well then you really have something so I think that the genre of interactive stories is a type of video game that's going to be coming in the future, oddly enough. Um, but it's, it's not quite here yet. But this game is kind of an attempt to see, you know, could, how, how close could we have gotten? Um, and admittedly, it's not that close, but hey, you know, it's, it's, it's a good effort, I would say. So uh, I, I pretty much have said everything I have to say about this game. I mean, this is a remarkably Where short video for me. Glasses? There really isn't too much gameplay to get obvious. into here. Yeah. It's just a lot of these guys arguing. Um, and uh, we can, like, listen at the door as they're arguing. Can we, can we come? Oh, we can knock. Oh, yeah. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Oh, we, we can leave. Oh, we can abandon them. We can straight up be like, forget this. Oh man, could we have left in the middle of their fight? What does this mean? Did we, we just quit the game. <laughs> well, very suitable. Anyway, Facade is in the book of 1001 video games you must play before you die. I think this game was included because, as I said, it's sort of a, a monumental attempt to do something very creative here. And I applaud the attempt. I don't actually think that this is... Um, you know, like a must-play in any respect. But I do think it's, you know, it's free. You can go ahead and get it, interactivestory.net. Um, a little interesting bit of trivia, one of the developers um, used this game to earn his PhD at Carnegie Mellon. So, hey, I guess I guess that's something. Um, they were originally going to develop a follow-up to this game called The Party, uh, and they ended up sort of canceling it. So I kind of wonder what these guys would have turned out if they had a bigger budget and more time and, and actually sort of flesh this concept out even further. But yeah, I, I think it's a free game. You can go and check it out if you're curious. You can maybe try typing in some things and see if you can get them to stay together. But in terms of gameplay, it's a very simple game. And it's not necessarily like mind blowing. I was hoping for a little bit more, I think. Um, but you know, it is a very difficult type of genre to produce. Um, so maybe in the future, AIs will tell us interactive stories. But for now, we just have programmer scripted events, and they can only get so complicated, guys. So anyway, that's that's just, that's my opinion. What do you guys think about Facade? Here is it a game that uh, you might be interested in checking out, or have you tried it before? Let me know in the comments down below. As always. Um, and as always, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video um, and tell all your friends and family about it. Until next time, guys, don't invite any friends over for a party if you're just going to fight with your partner all night, especially if you're on the verge of divorce. And otherwise, take care of yourselves. Peace. Huh. Yeah, this game is just riddled with errors.